Number 9. Secret Door in the Sphinx For centuries now, Egypt's Great Pyramids and Sphinx of Giza have frequently fallen under the spotlight for their suspected secret chambers, among other mysterious features, including hopeful theories about lost treasure. These rumors are to credit for the ongoing interest among archaeologists in getting to the bottom of any possible truths behind the tales. In August of 2019, the 4,500-year-old Great Sphinx made headlines yet again when reputed British historian Dr. Bettany Hughes claimed that there are two hidden chambers beneath the famous yet little understood monument that are worth excavating for their potential loot and for the secrets they may reveal about ancient Egypt. Speaking with The Sun, Dr. Hughes explained that for generations, ancient Egyptians feared and respected the Sphinx, believing it had supernatural powers. Now, she says, archaeologists are investigating the statue based on suspicions that it may sit atop an ancient network of tunnels and chambers. At the base of the Sphinx, near its tail, there's a small, deep hole, which is typically kept hidden from public view. This hole could lead to the larger chamber that some researchers believe is beneath the monument. Although researchers have yet to confirm any suspicions, Dr. Hughes believes that the tunnels below the Sphinx could be linked to a nearby pyramid, where the pharaoh Khufu is entombed. But she admits nobody knows for sure, and it's precisely the mystery researchers are trying to solve. Number 8. Crooked Forest In 1930, when the village of Nova Czarnovo in modern-day West Pomerania, Poland, was part of the German province of Pomerania, somebody planted 400 pine trees that grew peculiarly pointed northward and curved back upright. Nobody knows why the entire grove appears to be sharply bent 90 degrees sideways. The bizarrely shaped trees are otherwise healthy, growing up to 50 feet or 15 meters tall. Some have theorized that a unique gravitational pull in the area is responsible for reshaping them. But science proved long ago that gravity pulls downwards rather than at an angle, as Discovery points out on its website. Another theory suggests that heavy snowfall caused the trees to bend when they were sprouting, but fails to explain why this never happened to other vegetation in the region. The direction of the wood's grain makes it very tough, leading some to speculate that the trees were deliberately grown at an angle for building wooden wheels. This falls in line with the most commonly accepted theory that farmers manipulated the trees. Based on where they're angled, this would have been done when they were 7 to 10 years old. Anyone who may have an answer to the mystery is long gone from the town, which was largely abandoned at the end of World War II and remained that way until the 1970s. Number 7. Boromsky Crater the Podomsky Crater is a peculiar rock formation in southeastern Siberia's Irkutsk region. Made from shattered limestone blocks, it stands roughly 130 feet or about 40 meters tall, and has a base diameter of 520 feet or 160 meters. At the top is a ring-shaped cone with a smaller 39-foot tall, about 12-meter mound in the center. The crater's origins have been a mystery ever since its discovery in 1949 by Russian geologist Vadim Korpakov. With an estimated age of just 300 to 350 years old, theories abound, including the possibilities of meteorite, volcanic or gaseous activity forming the crater, as well as possible radioactivity, as evidenced by trees nearby that show signs of accelerated growth. As of 2010, the general consensus was that the Potomsky Crater has geological origins, although some scientists still believe it's meteoric in nature. No solid argument for a meteoric theory has been offered as of yet, and most modern experts consider it historically valuable at best. Some of the more imaginative theories connect the site with a suspected hidden nuclear plant or a buried UFO containing nuclear fuel but no asteroid-like materials or metal have been discovered in or around the crater, making these possibilities highly unlikely. Recent research suggests that perhaps a gas volcano formed by the underground release of hydrogen and other fluids caused the trees near the crater to grow abnormally fast. Speaking with the Siberian Times, 
Researcher Alexander Pospif admitted that scientists don't yet know how the Potomsky crater formed, but that it's definitely of earthly origin. Number 6. Marfa Lights Near US Route 67, outside the West Texas town of Marfa, mysterious orbs of light glow in the desert at night, leading to generations of speculation about paranormal phenomena and a suspected extraterrestrial presence. Eyewitnesses have claimed that the lights are basketball-sized and appear in various colors, including white, blue, and yellow and red, according to Live Science. They move in ways that distinguish them from vehicle headlights or the lights of nearby ranches, often hovering, twinkling, merging, dividing, flickering, and ascending towards the sky. The Marfa lights are seemingly unpredictable, occurring in various types of weather. They're spotted around a dozen times every year, and nobody knows for sure what they are. The first known eyewitness accounts of the Marfa lights dates back to 1883. But when a cowhand named Robert Reed Ellison saw them and assumed they were Apache fires. But no evidence of campfires was found in the area where the lights were seen. During World War II, Army pilots stationed nearby tried to track down the source of the Marfa lights, but had no luck. According to local Native American beliefs, the lights represent fallen stars. Others attribute them to aliens from outer space and the ghosts of Spanish conquistadors. A study by physics students from the University of Texas at Dallas found that the lights could be an atmospheric reflection of headlights and campfires, but the findings were inconclusive, leaving the topic open for debate. It's possible that the phenomenon is an optical illusion consisting of light refractions caused by layers of air at different temperatures. Known as a Fata Morgana or a superior mirage, this happens when warm air rests above a layer of cooler air. The Marfa lights could also be caused by gases like phosphine and methane, which also comprise swamp gas and sometimes ignite when they interact with oxygen. This glowing phenomenon is sometimes called will-o'-the-wisp or fool's fire. For now, there's no solid evidence of what the Marfa lights are, making your guess as good as anyone else's. Have you ever seen anything weird in the sky? Did you figure out what it was? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to Tall Tannic and let us know what videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Number 5. Racetrack Playa in Death Valley National Park, there's a lake bed sitting 3,714 feet, about 1,130 meters, above sea level, known as the Racetrack Playa. Measuring 2.8 miles, about 4.5 kilometers long, by 1.3 miles, or 2.1 kilometers wide, it's so flat that the northern end is only an inch and a half, about 3.5 centimeters, higher than the southern end. Most of the time, the Racetrack Playa is dry. But when it rains heavily, the basin it's situated in fills up with water and washes down from the surrounding mountains, forming a shallow lake. Known as an endorheric lake, it's a temporary body of water that quickly evaporates under the hot Southern California sun, leaving behind a soft layer of mud that dries and cracks into octagonal shapes. With the area only receiving a few inches of rainfall every year, the playa is almost always dry. When the lake bed is covered in soft mud, the rocks along its floor move, leaving a trail in the mud behind them. Some of them weigh hundreds of pounds, begging the question of how and why they slowly scuttle along seemingly for no reason. One prevailing theory over the years is that strong winds push the rocks against the flat ground. This makes sense, since they move parallel to the prevailing winds which blow from the southwest to the northeast. But even strong winds usually can't push a rock that weighs hundreds of pounds, and which is sitting inches deep in the mud, suggesting there are other factors at play. In 2013, a three-inch deep lake filled the playa and froze over. During that time, researchers observed rocks actively moving across the ground, with some traveling over 700 feet or about 215 meters. The scientists found that the phenomenon occurs when ice sheets measuring a few millimeters thick begin to melt, creating opportune conditions for light winds to push the rocks along while they're embedded in the ice, which floats on a thin layer of water. Number 4. Oregon Vortex 
Located along Sardine Creek in Gold Hill, Oregon, the Oregon Vortex opened in 1930 as a roadside attraction, advertising itself as a spherical field of force, half above the ground and half below the ground. In more basic terms, things seem to move and lean in the wrong direction, with water flowing uphill, brooms standing on end, and people's height unexplainably changing. Native Americans refer to the site as Forbidden Ground and reportedly avoided going there, and their horses allegedly refused to go there, stopping and changing directions once they realized they were near. Between the 1920s and 1959, Scottish geologist and engineer John Lister conducted thousands of experiments at the Oregon Vortex, and he is also who opened and ran it as an attraction. The site's advertisement as a spherical force field is based on Lister's theory about what causes the strange going-ons there. He believes that his alleged field of force measures a little less than 165 feet, about 50 meters, in diameter. Today, the owner and proprietors continue to sell the organ vortex as a site of possible paranormal phenomena. A more plausible explanation is that people who visit experience an optical illusion known as a gravity hill which is when a slight downhill slope appears to be uphill due to the layout of its surroundings. In 2012, the Sci-Fi Channel show Fact or Faked Paranormal Files investigated the organ vortex, and concluded that all the bizarre effects people experience there are indeed probably the products of optical illusions. But the show's findings were admittedly inconclusive, leaving the site's strange happenings a mystery for now. Number 3. Gungi Womp Located in a forest less than an hour inside of New Haven, Connecticut, the Gungi Womp site contains evidence of hundreds or even thousands of years of human occupation. Characterized by multiple stone chambers, rock piles, rings of stones, and mysterious carvings, the ancient settlement is filled with a confusing mixture of Native American and colonial artifacts with the oldest finds dating as far back as 2000 BCE. Among the most notable finds at Gungiwamp are a stone chamber featuring the astronomical alignment of the equinoxes and a formation of large quarried stones arranged in two concentric circles. There are also multiple stone chambers that archaeologists believe were root cellars, but truthfully do not know the purpose of. Other discoveries include Native American pottery fragments and arrowheads, as well as colonial-era china, buttons, coins, tobacco pipes, glass bottle and window fragments, bricks, and animal bones. None of these artifacts are helpful in determining what the stone chambers were used for. On the surface, it's clear that the 100-acre or about 40-hectare-acre site was repurposed multiple times throughout its history. But archaeologists have struggled to make sense of the muddled mess of structures and artifacts or put together a precise timeline or order to Gungi Womp's occupation. One of the more far-flung theories, put forth by mostly non-academic investigators, is that the settlement is of pre-Columbian Celtic origins and was built in the 6th century by Christian monks fleeing persecution in Europe. But no evidence points towards this as a likely possibility despite the discovery in Newfoundland, Canada in recent years of pre-Columbian Norse populations in North America. Some people even believe that there are alien connections to Gungi Womp, citing the alleged presence of energy vortexes at the site, based on occasional detectable spikes in electromagnetic activity, which geologists more convincingly attribute to the quartz, granite, and magnite rocks at the site. But, in all fairness, the mysteries surrounding Gungi Womp and modern scholars' failure to come up with a more comprehensive explanation of its history open the door to these types of beliefs. Number 2. Amada Muru While exploring the Peruvian countryside near the Bolivian border during the early 1990s, mountaineering guide Jose Luis Delgado Mamani found an abandoned stone carving bearing a smooth, flat surface and six and a half foot tall, about two meters, T-shaped alcove. Situated near Lake Titicaca, the roughly 23 foot or seven meter stone resembles a portal. It's known to be an abandoned Incan construction project, but its purpose is unknown. 
Known as Amara Muru and nicknamed Puerta de Hayamarca, or Gate of the Gods, the structure is the subject of local folklore, claiming that people have disappeared through its doorway. Stories also tell of strange sights near the portal, including tall men accompanied by glowing balls of lights walking through the doorway, according to Atlas Obscura. But the website admits that these tales could be embellished by paranormal fanatics like Jerry Willis, who claimed that he traveled through the portal and that photos of people goofing off near the structure do little to add to its mystique. Conspiracy theorists have suggested that Amaramuru is a multi-dimensional doorway created by aliens. And one story alleges that an Incan priest used a golden disc that fell from the sky to open the door. Unsurprisingly, none of these claims are backed by credible evidence. Number 1. Hestelin Lights For over a century, bizarre flashing balls of light have been appearing in rural central Norway's Hestelin Valley. Known as the Hestelin Lights or the Hestelin Phenomenon, the bright white, yellow, and red lights are of unknown origin. They appear day and night, both above and below the horizon, and last anywhere from a few seconds to a few hours. Spectators have observed the lights moving slowly and with enormous speed, as well as hovering. People have also reported seeing metallic objects in the sky during the daytime, as well as bright blue flashes that last no longer than the blink of an eye, giving rise to rumors about UFOs and aliens from outer space. There have been periods of unusually high activity, including during the 1980s when the lights appeared as much as 20 times per week. Since then, the number of annual sightings has dwindled to fewer than 20. The phenomenon has attracted the attention of scientists and conspiracy theorists, but both have failed to determine what it is or what causes it. One theory put forth in 2014 suggests that metallic minerals interact with a sulfurous river, creating a natural battery of sorts that illuminates the sky. The researchers replicated this effect in an experiment, lending potential credibility to their suspicions. A type of plasma could be responsible for the Hesdalen lights, according to some experts, while others believe the phenomenon is a type of lightning. But there are pitfalls to each hypothesis. For one, plasmas require incredibly hot temperatures to form, and the lights seem to be cool. The lights also do not occur during lightning or leave scorch marks on the ground, challenging the idea that they are a type of lightning. Other theories include the possibility that the valley's shape, climate, geology, and high winds generate static electricity, or that radioactivity or decaying radon in the atmosphere are responsible for the lights. Whatever the case, more research is necessary before the scientific community can solve the mystery. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye for now.